What's your thoughts on 96? All right, so 96, they went seven and five, you know, so just a tick under what they went the year before. Uh, best win I have at Virginia. Okay, number 15, Virginia at the time. Uh, we won 24 to 16, so that's a pretty a pretty solid win and, you know, an otherwise mediocre year. Uh, worst loss I have at UNC to another one of those Mac Brown teams. Now, Mac Brown was 10 and two this year. Okay, so Tar Heels were a solid team, uh, but that's brutal. 45 to nothing in an opener. Goodness gracious, that is not the way you want to start off a season at all. So I, I definitely have that as our worst loss. Uh, best player on offense, finally, Raymond Priester comes into the picture, okay? Uh, Raymond Priester had 257 uh, rushes for, you know, 1,345 yards, six touchdowns. He also had 15 receptions for 115 yards and a touchdown. Uh, so good all-around player, killing it, you know, you know, rushing, uh, rushing-wise, Raymond Priester. Everybody knows Raymond Priester if you're a Clemson fan. Uh, on defense, this is where we got to a guy, I'm pretty sure he was on our all-time list, Anthony Simmons. This is, guys, this is one of the hardest-hitting, most f- physical players ever in Clemson football history. Uh, so he was my best player on defense, 178 tackles, okay? All-American, first team, all-ACC, uh, and he was named, what's funny is I saw he was named the starter after five practices, which was really cool. Um, so Anthony Simmons got to have him a lot of love there. I mean, again, Clemson fans know his name. They want, they want another Anthony Simmons on the field right now. You know, we're on the same page here on, on a lot of things. And I'll okay. say, so let me, let me pull up the, the roster for 96 here. Take down 95 so I don't get it. So see, now this is the alphabetical roster is all they give you over at ClemsonTigers.com. Thank you, ClemsonTigers.com, for nothing. Um, <laughs> but let me, so, so if I pull up SportsReference.com, maybe it'll give me a roster here or at least give me some statistics. Here we go. All right, so, so you have Nelon Green starting quarterback. Uh, Brandon Streeter was a backup. He got in one completion this year. We'll talk more yeah. about Brandon coming up. Uh, Raymond Priester, Emory uh, Smith. Let's see, Joe Woods, Kenya Crooks, Lamont Hall, Jim Bundren. We talked about him a lot. Matt Butler, Holland Postel. Glenn Roundtree, another guy continuing to start year over year. Jamie Trimble, Trevor Price, defensive lineman. That's a big-time guy we've talked about in the past, Al. Raymond White, Brett Williams, Lorenzo Brommel, guy who played a lot in the NFL, transferred from a junior college. Howard Bartley, Adrian Dingle, a great linebacker for Clemson. Anthony Simmons, again, we'll talk about him. Mon Wilson, Raheem Abdullah, another guy played in the NFL. I told Mark Childress this, O.J. Childress. They must be cousins or something, but O.J. Childress, another guy who played in the NFL a little bit. Uh, Antoine Edwards, obviously great cornerback, one of the best cornerbacks ever to play for Clemson. Andy and Peter Ford, and then Dexter McLean, again, another great cornerback. They had some studs back there at cornerback position and some studs at linebacker, and by this year, they had some pretty stout guys on the defensive line as well. So you can't really complain about the defense. Um, at all now the offense on the other hand it was Raymond Priester and then no one really I mean if you think about it I mean you look back at these games and it's I formation until and then three three runs and punt basically most of the time so it's not really that fun and if they were going to pass the ball more often than not sometimes Neon Green ran the ball but Green uh let's see he had 300 and no 100 only 190 yards rushing I guess because Raven Priester and and Emory Smith kind of took over that duty this year but Neilon Green had 1400 yards passing so not too bad um only eight touchdowns and eight interceptions so nothing compared to what you would see nowadays with the Lawrence's Watson's Boyd's era it's, it's completely different teams you right. know it's completely different offensive schemes for sure but for 96 um let me pull up the schedule <coughs> let me pull up the schedule here real quick and give you 96. So again, that to start the season off with a 45 and 0 loss at an away game at Tar Heels, that's that's a tough one. I actually yeah. didn't have that one as the worst loss. Um, it's back and forth with that team that I hate, that everybody hates. But um, the road win against Virginia is the best win. That's another tombstone game. So you got two tombstone. Really, I think the Tommy West era had three tombstones uh, that are that are on campus right now. So much respect for that. You go by there, you see those those games, and you're like, I don't know anything about those games. Well, now you might know a little bit more about it. They beat Virginia on the road, number 15 in the nation. Um, and it was – the only thing that I think that was important for me and you was that it was the Barber brothers. Tiki Barber was running back. Rondé Barber was a defensive back. 
And uh, we went up there and beat them. The Tigers went up there and beat them. So number 15 goes down in the best win of 96. Uh, they were 7-5 and five overall and lost the bowl game to LSU, but the worst loss was South Carolina because the LSU game was, to me, very competitive. Mm-hmm. But And it was a bowl game, so... But South Carolina, 34-17, to 17, with six minutes to go, try to come back, all right? 34-17, six minutes to go, fans are leaving. They almost come back. Freaking um, Neilon Green and Raymond Priester and Tony Horn almost bring it back to 34-31 with like a minute to go. They stop them on defense, Al. They get in field goal range, and I won't name the kicker's name, but he missed the field goal wide left yeah. in the west end zone. Wide left in order to tie the game. So they had a chance. They were down, but they had a chance and couldn't do it. So, you know, almost, you know, it was it was a tough loss there. Anytime you lose to South Carolina, I, I can't really give you any props for there for that. So that's <laughs> that's that's my ninety six overview. Best player for me, Raymond Priester. Uh, that's when he had 1,345 yards. Like, was the best until Wayne Gallman came around. Um, right. So he held that for a long time. And then 1,460 yards from scrimmage. So Gallman beat that. And then, as you know, Travis Etienne beat that twice. Yeah. Um, and then on defense, Anthony Simmons. So me and Mark Childress were talking about this earlier today. Mark Childress, like, was just now getting married around this time. And he – got season tickets and he remembers Anthony Simmons and my dad and you talk about Anthony Simmons all the time, but Simmons in his freshman campaign. Okay. 178 tackles in 12 games. Now I'm not a math guru, but I got a calculator. And if you do 178 divided by 12, Al, can you do that from in your head? No, I can't. Yeah, I'm sure you can. You're just not, you're just not wanting to say that, but 14.8 14.8 tackles per game. My goodness, for a freshman to do 14. I mean, he's just a tackling freaking machine. 